When we come back, what all the fuss is about, at least to the eight-year-old set in this country. Bring all your skill. Be forewarned if you haven't been already, the hottest thing in the 12 and under set is coming soon to a theater near you. Pokemon the movie joins Pokemon the video game and Pokemon the trading card as must-sees and must-haves. To start us off tonight, NBC News correspondent Colleen Dominguez on the craze that has now hit Hollywood. More than a game. Anybody know how to play this, how to get to the next level? Or a top-rated TV show. Pokemon is an undeniable obsession with children across the country. The upcoming Pokemon the first movie recently caused such a frenzy that the switchboard at Warner Brothers was flooded with 70,000 calls a minute from people desperate for tickets. The animated Japanese import created by Nintendo also holds the top five video game slots. So what exactly is a Pokemon? Cute, cuddly characters who become supercharged so they can fight their enemies. But some experts say the entire Pokemon phenomenon is the enemy. In my opinion, parents should not let their kids watch Pokemon, play Pokemon, buy Pokemon cards, have anything whatsoever to do with Pokemon because the message is violence. But many parents disagree. It's really, I think, an okay thing for the kids because they learn to save their allowance to budget for it and they learn to trade and be kind of reasonable with their friends. When it comes to the biggest Pokemon craze, it has to be the trading cards. This 747 arrived today from Tokyo, packed with the latest collectible cards. Many school officials think the craze has gone too far. They're not allowed at our school because yeah. it's such a craze and people like them so much they tend to steal. School officials are finding that Pokemon cards are responsible for fistfights and the constant trading is not only distracting kids from classwork, but turning the playground into a black market where they buy and sell rare cards. Wow, all those. Just how long will this fad last? Retailers hope well into the holiday shopping season. Colleen Dominguez, NBC News, Los Angeles. If you have a, or know a young child, then you may know that bonding moments with children these days come only when they look up from their Pokemon cards or other products. As we've established, it's the thing with the younger age set. Here to walk us through what adults should know, the self-proclaimed toy guru, Ira Gallon. He's the owner nice. of Video Resources in New York. Ira, to you and Pikachu, uh, a hearty and good is, evening. And this is going to be one of the hottest selling toys for the holidays. This is a talking Pikachu from Hasbro Toys, not even in the stores yet, it's gonna be in next month. But that psychiatrist who had that quote last, that how bad uh, Pokemon is, I guarantee you these people haven't seen any of the cartoons at all. They have no concept at all. Well, let's get into this because as I understand it from my own child, uh, I, I think, well, I, uh, for the record, it's one of my, my children. How old are they? Uh, my, the, my son who's into it is eight, and it, it's, he's walked me through it, and it's all about battles, is it not? Not really. In fact, i got to tell you, I, I get this episode today, Pokemon Friends, and it's about abused Pokemon that aren't treated well by their trainers because in the Pokemon world in the age of 10 you get to be able to go to Pokemon school and be given a beginner Pokemon to go out with and capture other Pokemon now okay, but some kids are what I gotta say well one some kids are bad and treat their Pokemon bad and they're abused this is a great episode about abused characters that have to go to a special resort to get better and meet better kids to grow with now, the next question concerns uh, how long this is going to be around. As you know, you can now buy a Furby in the dairy case at your local supermarket. Half and i got to tell you, Furby were. is still selling well. They're expecting good sales with Furby. But in fact, Tiger Toys, who put out all the Furbies, have all the electronic toys for... But is, uh, is Pikachu going to become the Furby of 1999? Pretty much. There's certain pieces of toys. There's also another toy. If you want to be a Pokemon master and your kids are going to want it, you have to have a Pokedex. And this is by Tiger Toys, and you can, this is like a Rolodex for every character you want to learn. Press any buttons on here, put in the code number of that Pokemon, you get to learn about it. Every one of these at Warner Brothers store and FAO Schwarz totally sold out. Well, they're an absolute necessity, I imagine. And it then the other thing is, is in regards to trading with all these trading cards, yeah. 
Burger King co is coming out with 57 toys, among them the ultimate Pokeball. I guarantee your son's going to want this. This is $1.99 at, at Burger King when you buy one of the value meals and you get your special gold card. There's six of these. There are 150 additional Pokemon cards, and there's no way every kid is going to get all the toys at Burger King. So they're reinforcing the trading aspect of all these cards as well. So you're going to find kids trading a lot of these things. Now, Iroh, how do you answer the question, is this just toys? collectibles is it a movement it is is it a craze is it a it's state a craze of being? for little kids to enjoy themselves with adults are not going to get into this a lot what was interesting is for the last year I've been sent toys left and right I own 50,000 of them I wouldn't watch any of this stuff I throw in a tape over the weekend which I got to recommend people I choose Pikachu this will explain to everybody what the craze is about in fact Pioneer Electronics buys the rights to the DVD the videos they're now giving one away with all their DVD players with 50 percent with fifty dollars off they're selling through the roof because kids want the DVD versions I think through the holidays guaranteed and I can, can probably guarantee you there's another year, year and a half to this craze. All it right. hasn't even peaked yet. All right. Well, as always, Ira Gallen, thank you. Thank your many little friends toys aside for, for, for coming on the air. Thank you. Please do. You know where to send them. When we come back, we will have a look at what's making headlines in tomorrow morning's newspapers across the country.